surrounded by unsavory types. <laughs> No, we're in Soho today because we're off to a movie screening. What have you been up to? Well, today I've had a, a rather naughty skiving day. I was invited to my friends Alan and Barb's, um, well, to Alan's house for a what they term a girls' afternoon. I was treated to delicious uh, Indian nibbles. Maybe that's why I'm thinking of going to India. And nibbles. a Kath and Kinderella movie, which was... It was quite funny. I, mean, I don't know. I've heard of them, but I've never seen them before. I've never seen their show. It was kind of nice for a, just a totally relaxing film that you don't have to think or you feel. Seen the series? No. You need to see the series. I mean, you should have done it the way around, really. See the series and then well, see I the film. Well, I didn't know that I was going to be asked to see it. At least you've seen done. them. You've seen them. Seen them now. And you've seen Barb and Alan. I'm making an album for Loot Masters. That should be finished this week out in June. And you've been to Jazz After Dark. Yes, Jazz After Dark last Tuesday was amazing, it was full, great fun, people from all over the world and friends of mine and it was just such a happy, happy time. Um, it was quite raucous. Yeah. There was a lot of activity, a lot of interaction oh, from yeah. people that were there. Yeah, people singing along. Jeremy was quite surprised that you brought somebody up on stage, that guy you, you brought up to sing along. Oh yes. And you wouldn't let him go, you were just... Well, he was being entertaining. Yeah, not harassing him. I wouldn't say so, that. You, you don't know, harass people. If you come people. up on stage and you're not good, I'll get rid of you. I'll be nice about it. But <laughs> I think he was probably harassing inflict- you, if anything. If you're not that good, you won't be inflicted on the audience. <laughs> yeah, but see, that's the thing. People might watch and think, oh no, am I going to get picked on? No. I mean, I would love that. I'd love to be picked on by the diva. Some people I would love that. I am very sensitive to vibes and people's personalities. Oh, so you can pick I, it up. You well, I've been doing up. this for a very long time. I've been singing, um, you know, live for over 30 years. And in my early days of my career, I did a lot of singing in bars and pubs and restaurants. And it's just something I've learned over the years. I can see who's shy, who's up for it, who needs a bit of teasing out. I'm very good with people. Do you ever get the shy ones to let themselves yes. go? You bring that out yeah. in them. That's amazing. Actually, there was a girl there the other night who was really sad, and she was actually crying oh. during one of my songs. Oh. So in one of my breaks, I had a chat with her mum, and she said that her boyfriend had dumped her, and there'd been some hoo-ha on Facebook. It wasn't your performance. It was making her sob. <laughs> <laughs> did have to make sure. Anyway, so, you know, I sort of no, gave sure her a bit of attention and, and actually at the end I sang When You Touch Me as the last song and in the middle eight section there's I hold this long note and I go, you know what I want, touch me! And I invite everyone to get up and touch me. Yeah. Um, and she jumped up and <laughs> flung her arm around me. This girl was dancing and smiling and laughing. And yeah, that's amazing. Really nice. And her mum said, thank you so much. You've really cheered her up. She was so that's sad. Great. We have had stories in the past where people have touched you. <laughs> you didn't don't really touch want all me if of that. I don't ask you to. <laughs> exactly. I think that's the golden rule, really, isn't it? <laughs> you do encourage it sometimes. Yes. <laughs> Especially with a song title like When You Touch Me. Touch <laughs> Me on My Body. Which I've got to say is coming up for a 10th anniversary soon, isn't it? Yeah, it's nine years ago that yeah. it came out. I think 2008. I think we need to celebrate it. You need to perform it like in Soho Square. Should we just give a little. What now? A little spin with the camera of. The, the sort of people that we're that we're mingling with here. I wouldn't Soho. say we're mingling. <laughs> I'd say we're very much not mingling. Yes, yeah, involuntary, we're, we're is it? In, sort of involuntary mingling. <laughs> I've got loads of pigeons too, which is quite pigeons sweet. I'm a big fan of pigeons and tulips. Tulips are nice. They yeah, like a bit of colour. What have you been up to, Phil? Uh, I have been remixing. There's a band who are a bit like Little Mix. They're called um, Pink Angels. Mm-hmm. So we remix them. Uh, me and my remix partner, Rich B. I've uh, been doing the club nights and yeah. at Two Brewers. Cool. We had Andy Bell there a few a few weeks ago, which was brilliant. Just been doing lots of interviews. And you went to see Blondie live And last I went to night. see Blondie. They were amazing. Oh, 
Debbie Harry, I can't believe, is 71. Wow. I know we shouldn't really make a point of the age, but it well, is no, incredible. I think, it, I think, it, I think we doing... should make a point of it. You know, I think it's inspiring that, well, women as well, because we're quite used to old men rocking out, aren't yeah, we? Yeah. The Stones yeah, and the exactly. Smith. But, you know, somehow it's sort of more extraordinary when it's an older woman. And I think it shouldn't be, and we should talk about it. And I think, you know, for a 71-year-old woman to be getting up, up on stage and wearing cool outfits... Oh, my gosh, she was incredible. Thing. It's not like she's gone all sort of old and is wear and changed her act. She's doing what she's always done. Oh, no, she doesn't look any different. I mean, obviously, she's aged, but mm. she's aged well. Mm. And she, she still had that Debbie Harry smile. <laughs> amazing her figure was great there's she hope for really me. there's hope for you you don't need it <laughs> <laughs> i can see you rocking out at 71. she could be my mother you know <laughs> yeah but we better get on because we've got a film yes, to Phil. see places to go people to see yeah um thank you very much for watching if you haven't subscribed subscribe like us share us tell everybody and yeah come back for the next video we are always uploading stuff aren't we and you're time. you're pushing it on your facebook and twitter oh yes i mean instagram yeah so we'll see you soon. Yeah. Over and out from Soho Square. Bye. <laughs> 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 <laughs>